Okwe community can be easily referred to as a part of Asaba, the Delta State Capital, because of its proximity to the state capital. With the capital city not too far away, the people of Okwe expect a fallout from the developmental projects to get to them. But unfortunately, the reverse seems to be the case, as this is evident from the dilapidated roads and structures scattered around the town. To get their voices heard, some of them take to the streets of Asaba, singing songs of solidarity and carrying placards with various inscriptions. As they head straight to the State House of Assembly. The governor is a grassroots politician and he believes in equity. Why are we marginalized? He did not tar anything. Have you seen where they tar road without gutter? There's no drainage system. The only secondary we have, the secondary school that we have, is almost cut off. The road is so bad. No, the, the road they said they did to the market has no drainage and it didn't connect the school road. Later on, as the group storms the house, lawmakers led by the Speaker of the House of Assembly, Honorable Sheriff Oborevori, approach protesters to listen to what they have to say. <laughs> then an argument ensues between the protesters and the lawmakers. Formation reaching me is that the major road there have been tied. It's just the entrance to the school. And I believe that during this dry season, the capital territory, we are lucky that we have capital territory here. And the capital territory have been doing a lot. But you know, uh, this dry season, they're going to do more again. In recent time, the, de the deplorable road has been handled from the express to uh, the main school. Without a good road network, development is stalled irrespective of the social amenities present. The message here is clear. The belonging is what these people desire, and a quick response from the government will help restore confidence and trust.